Renta. Good day, my friend. Welcome back to the Jesso Gymnastics Training. Today, we're going to work in Giants and Bars for girls and boys, front Giants, back Giants. Also, we're going to work in the Endo and Stutter. Bienvenidos a Yeso Gymnastics Training. Hoy vamos a trabajar en los molinos de espalda, los molinos de frente, los endos y los estuaros en la barra. Para la hembra y para los varones. También vamos a trabajar en la preparación física. We also going to work in the conditioning a little bit. The body conditioning and the strength for the gymnast. Also, we're going to talk about who is Nadia Comaneci, the legend of gymnastics. También vamos a trabajar en preparación física para la gimnasia, preparación física general y quién es Nadia Comaneci, la leyenda Nadia Comaneci. So we're going to start already in Giants in the high bar. So here we have a girl to do high bar Giants on the staff. Watching. We're going to talk today about front giants, back giants, and, 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 uh, and the tennis corner. We'll go over here. Oh. Okay, before we start, rest a little bit. Before we start, I want to explain to you. When we do giants and bars, front giants and back giants, antes de empezar, quiero explicar que conocemos molinos de espalda y molinos de frente. In a high bar, we need to do some drills. Necesitamos hacer some drills. So I like to combine the drills that I do, every drills together, for making better the giants. Me gusta combinar los drills que hago para lo, o sea, lo, las metodicas que hago para poder eh, mejorar los giants. But in the beginning, the beginning, this is the way that I like to teach in giants from the beginning. Antes de hacer, enseñarle los molinos. Esta es la manera que a mí me gusta enseñarles. Eh, we call this uh, here in, in English, we call a baby giant. Uh, en español nosotros le llamamos el medio molino. Come on, we have a table here. So remember that we're talking about the top. Acuérdense que hablamos de los pateos. So, the top. We're going to do top. Top. And now, turn over, you see? Turn over. Nice. Very good, baby. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> beautiful. That's it. That's it. Beautiful. Come on, we have to here now. We have right here Giovanni Bellas, one of the coaches. And the, co the girl's coach is Giovanni Santos. And thank you, EGA Gymnastics, for the support and for sponsoring this show. Come on. gimnasta que patee fuertemente hacia atrás para que coja el poder del pateo hacia atrás para el molino. Why we do this? To making sure the gymnast learning the turnover, the big time to do the giant before they open by the children. So I love this drill. I love it. I can um, guarantee to you doing this drill, your gymnast is going to learn the giant fast. Also, this drill is good to make sure your gymnast regrip do the turnover on the wrist because this is another problem that we have. También esto ayuda no solo a patear, sino a que el gimnasta pueda subir las muñecas rápidamente y no se queden con las muñecas abajo. Un ejemplo más. Go. Beautiful. Oh, my God. That's what I'm looking for, baby. That's what I love it. Come on, come on. There you go. Good job. So, 
So you see how they turn over really fast. Now, what I recommend in later after this, a trap. We recommend them doing guy on the trap. Why? They're not afraid to escape. They're not afraid to slip. They more uh, security here, and you can control better the body position you want. So after you teaching them to turn over with the wrist, that is very, very, very complicated when we teaching gymnastics. And the turnover and the big tap, we going with the strap. That's the way I do. Okay, después que le enseñamos a que hagan este movimiento con las muñecas, o sea, que puedan doblar las muñecas hacia arriba y patear fuertemente atrás, venimos aquí al strap para que con más seguridad ellos puedan trabajar los molinos sin miedo a escaparse de la barra y tú puedes correccionar las manos, puedes correccionar el cuerpo, todo. Come on. Um, I love the trap. I love the trap. We're taking the opportunity to say thank you all uh, sponsors that we have in this um, training. We have uh, Ignacia Latina who's being a sponsor of, you can subscribe to Gimnasia Latina, you can be a private subscriber where you got a lot of information about gymnastics, and Gimnasia Latina is open for everyone in the world. It's the name is Latina, but it's doing a cover gymnastics for all gymnasts around the world. Aprovechamos la oportunidad para hablar de Gimnasia Latina, que es uno de los que nos está patrocinando, el primer patrocinador de nosotros, y se puede suscribir a su revista y tener información privada solo para usted. So we now we're going to do giant with the strap. It's okay, it's okay. Giant, giant for the strap now. The big top, look at the difference. So now you're correcting. He has a great, a great top and you're correcting the body. I like to see more toes down, hollow, more toes up, and top, more toes down, and coming like the free head for the children. That's it. I like to come down for the toes, and then turn over, and then like the free head, doing the, the giant. That's the way I like it. I don't want to straight, it's straight up. I love more the free head uh, technique. That's my way to teach you. A mí me gusta mucho que vengan por aquí, Paten y hagan como una vuelta de espalda libre a parada de mano. O una Z, como decíamos allá en Cuba. Patear y entrar aquí, porque me gusta más que entre gimnasta y después suba con los hombros, para que no abra rectamente así. It's better to do it like that. Because sometimes they lose the momento to tap. Porque a veces ellos pierden el momento del pateo cuando quieren subir del pie. Anything you want to say, subscribe to Gymnastics channel and let me know. Let me know. So, look at how powerful. 
Beautiful for Cap. Those guys do it. Look. Beautiful. That's beautiful. You feel like something wrong with the foot. That's what I say. This is a life. This is a genetics. It's going to go the way it's going to happen. It's going to be good. It's going to be bad. That's what we deal every day. This is genetic. Puede salir bien, puede salir mal. Esto es con lo que nosotros nos enfrentamos todos los días. Esto es real. Aquí no hay nada preparado. Nothing is prepared for this training. Everything is online. So now, we're going to do back giant. We're going to do back giant with, um, with the grip. We can see the girls continue working over there. Follow me. So, Nadia Comaneci, Nadia Comaneci, two times Olympian champion. She has nine medals on the Olympics, and five of those medals are a gold medals. She won the all around in 1976, and she won the balance beam, she won the uneven bar, she won the all around, and she won. Uh, that's a three gold medal she won. And the team got silver and she got bronze and floor. That was in 1976. Nadia Comaneci ganó dos Olimpiadas. La leyenda del deporte ganó dos Olimpiadas. Ganó en 1976 y 1980. Ganó nueve medallas olímpicas y cinco de ellas fueron de oro. Ganó en 1976 el máximo acumulador, la viga. La barra simétricas y cogió bronce en piso y plata por equipo. Nadia Comaneci also was the first thing ever on the history of gymnastics. The first thing. A big hope for Nadia Comaneci. A great job in gymnastics, giving a lot of things for gymnastics. She is still working with the community. She born in Romania and she real name is uh, Nadia, I'm forgetting the second name. It's uh, Nadia Alexander Comaneci. Nadia Alexander Comaneci, and um, now we're back to the high bar with the regular Giants. Come back. Está hablando que el verdadero nombre de Nadia Comaneci es Nadia Alexander Comaneci, y nació en Rumanía, y su primer coach fue Bela Coroli, su entrenador que la llevó a la cima. The coach that uh, bring Nadia to the top was the uh, legendary coach Bela Coroli. Aquí estamos... We're going to work in the back giants now. Go. So now we're going to do regular giants. You're going to see the difference of the gymnasts. agresivo que este gimnasta está produciendo with the basic things that we're doing with the drill we're doing él está produciendo tremendo bateo with those drills he produce a very powerful giant of course it's not perfect of course we have a lot of rooms that we can pick and fix him but in this young group in this age and when they learn a giant what you want is making an effort making a focus and the time and the turnover with the body hand. En esta edad, por supuesto que él no está correcto todavía, no está perfecto, pero él, lo que estamos trabajando que es que el pateo sea fuerte y que el cuerpo esté duro y, y con el pecho hundido, esa parte la tenemos correcta. Recuerden que son gimnastas jóvenes. Remember, it's a young gymnast, you cannot be so perfect. You gotta have some room to fix it later. Come on. Giants in like how long? Three or four weeks? 
Uh, Go Giovanni going to help me now. So I can explain what the, what the, what's going on. So, those gymnasts have um, been learning jam in about six weeks, maybe. Kaleo doing pretty good. He has a good sense of tap. Look in that, look in the power. Look in the power and the body in. That's pretty good, that's pretty good. Ese es un molino bastante bueno, bastante bueno. Buen paseo, buena formación del cuerpo. Uh, now we're gonna work in on the, the front giants. One of the biggest problems on the front giant is the turnover the wrist, you know? This part in the front giant is very difficult. Uno de los problemas más grandes que tenemos los molinos de frente es mover la muñeca, moverla al apoyo. So I I do an skill that I've been um, and I want to say creative, but I've been uh, thinking about it, how teaching that. And this is the, the drill that I come from. Eh, yo he trabajado en un ejercicio que no quiero decir que lo cree. A lo mejor lo vi en algún lugar y no me acuerdo. Es para trabajarle el movimiento de la muñeca. Lo voy a enseñar. Ok. So, we're going to do a task. Not too high, Cass. And we're going to go up to the support position. Vamos a hacer un bote, no muy alto, y vamos a caer de nuevo en la posición de apoyo. Aquí debe ser con el pecho hundido. Es aquí un poquito. Con el pecho hundido para lograr esto. Have to be a little mean with the hollow position to make sure they do it. Look in this second example. Look in this. Yes. Beautiful. Very good. going Kaleo. All these skills gonna help in you to fixing the giant or giving confidence. This skill to me giving a lot of confidence with the little kid doing front giant. Very confident. You can do the same thing with the girls. You can do the same thing with the girls. Almost every skill you do with the boys and bars is the same. It's maybe changing later when they're using the second bar, but in the beginning, it's the same. Okay, let's go with the strap now. So we're gonna do now with the strap. One more time. Uh, I wanna let you know, you go to uh, Gimnasia Latina, and Gimnasia Latina gonna support all, support all the gymnasts around the world. Even if it's in Spanish uh, magazine, you can switch in the language on the internet. Subscribe it to them. Be a private um, uh, member, and you're gonna have all information you need for gymnastics. Buy America Latina, la revista Gimnasia Latina, que es la revista que nos apoya a todos los gimnastas del mundo. Aunque se llama Gimnasia Latina y habla mucho de los gimnastas latinos, también habla de todo lo que sucede en el mundo. Inscríbase ahí. Ahí hay. Eh, reportajes importantes hay muchas cosas que usted necesita sea miembro sea miembro y ahí va a tener todo lo que necesita
We're going to work it now on the stop, Giants. Look the difference now. Look at the difference now. More confidence, look in that. More confidence, more confidence, the gymnast with the strap. I love the strap. You see the body, he coming halo. Ya ven, el gimnasta está más confiado. Ven que sube con el cuerpo hundido, el pecho hundido. Yeah, it's a little pie, but this is a young gymnast. So, this is what you want to see in a young gymnast. Uh, at least that's what I want to see in a young gymnast. Eso lo que usted... Lo, una de las cosas buenas que puede ver en un gimnasta joven, al menos eso es lo que yo eh, me gusta ver en los gimnastas jóvenes cuando están aprendiendo los molinos de frente. We have another sample, and then we're going to work in um, regular giants and, uh, and the endos and squatters and, and high bar and a little conditioning. Go, go. He passed for his stance. He's doing the, the chest in. He, is, he passed um, very clear that he turned, turned very good the body. Lo podemos ver. Este es un, un molino bastante bueno. Eh, pasa con el pecho hundido. Pasa por la parada de mano. Recto. Bien bonito. Very good. Now we're going to do with a, a grip. So um, Mr. Gable is going to do with the grip now. Come on. Guys, don't forget to subscribe to Jesso Gymnastics Training and Gymnastics Channels and YouTube. Don't forget and give me your comment. Give me your, everything you want to see in this class. This is a class created for coaches and gymnasts. Nice, Mochesi. Right now, with no grip, with no uh, trap. Look at the confidence of the gymnasts. Look at the confidence of the gymnasts. They all new gymnasts, just learning. Uh, say your has nine years old. Say how old are you? Nine? Say your tiene nueve años. Ahí lo ven. Bien confiado los gimnastas. Trabajando. Ahora vamos a hacer unos cuantos drills. Unos cuantas metódicas para lo que es el endo en la barra. Now we're going to do after this a couple of drills for endos and stoders. Nice, very nice. Very nice. Good job, baby. Good job. Guys, I'm very impressed. Oh, you, you don't have an idea. We've been working how long? Um, how long we've been working? Like six weeks, seven weeks. Six or seven weeks with those guys. They don't do giant before. And look now. Beautiful. Beautiful. And the same on the top. Beautiful. I know a lot of gyms right now hit by the pandemic and everybody's a little sad. And, but this is going to finish. This is going to finish. The world is going to keep going. We all do. We humans. We, we know how going over everything. And we're going to come back and do training. That's why we're doing this class to making people sure and don't, that there is nothing is going to happen. Look, six weeks. And we back already. Lo que estaba diciendo era que estos muchachos aprendieron los molinos en seis semanas. Sabemos lo que estamos pasando con la pandemia, pero no podemos perder ese sueño. Tenemos que seguir adelante, tenemos que seguir trabajando. Miren, lo que pasó en seis semanas, se puede. Nosotros somos humanos, vamos a seguir, vamos a, vamos a avanzar. Nosotros vamos a vencer esto. Ok, so now go, Caleo. Very good. Very good. Now we're going 
gonna put down the high bar, but we're gonna do a couple drills for the endos. Uh, come in, uh, stay here. So, for endos and the stutters, uh, we need uh, we need a lot of flexibility and know where the body goes. Para hacer endos y estuaros, endos de frente, de espalda, necesitamos eh, saber dónde la cadera va y mucha elasticidad. So I'm using this drill to making sure the gymnast have the knowledge where the body is supposed to be on the bottom of the endo or um, stories. Yo hago este ejercicio para que el gimnasta sepa dónde tiene que tener la cadera y las piernas en el endo de frente o de espalda. Grab the bar. So, so the hips have to be straight with the shoulders. And we're pulling down the legs like this. Obvious, the gym has to be very flexible. This is the right position on the endos, on the bottom of the high bar. So we're doing this drill and we play a little bit with swing. We play a little bit with swing to the gymnast, get the knowledge about that. So now we go to the low bar in the group top and we're gonna use a strap again because I love the strap. I love the strap because in the strap, you can teach the gymnast, the gymnast now have the fear to sleep or Oh, the most fear is asleep. <laughs> That's true. Eh, eh, usamos el strap porque en el strap eh, el gimnasta no tiene miedo a resbalar, a salir volando. Y, eh, eso hacemos. Okay? I want to remind you, every skill I do is not the only one, is not the best skill. I just try to give it to you the same drills, the same things that I'm using for many, many years and try to helping you to uh, doing what I do and giving ideas to getting uh, your class better or giving your class more, uh, with more drills, with more uh, things to do to getting better. Yo quiero decirle que los ejercicios que hago aquí no son los, los únicos ejercicios que existen pero son ejercicios que por años yo he trabajado, me han ayudado a mí. Y, y eh, son los cuales que eh, he trabajado y, y me ha dado resultados. So, now, simple. Simple. I'm gonna explain to you something that your grandmother, like my big friend Ricardo Dilo say, can't understand it. Yo le voy a explicar algo sencillo que como dice mi amigo Ricardo Dilo, su abuelita lo puede entender. So we put the feet in front, cross your feet, cross your feet here. This is skills to teaching the guy. Hold on. Go again, go again. This is skills to teaching the guy to flip over on the bar. This is one of the biggest things when we do back endos or front endos, estodos o endos. Este es uno de los problemas graves que tenemos y es cómo vamos a mover las muñecas. <laughs> Se cayó. Now you see, everything is in life. Uh, again, come on, tight, tight. Tight, cross your feet. And the coach is standing right here. And we just do this to the gymnast. And this is what we call uh, a drill for back enders. Now, how we do the second, um, stay there. So the, another drill that I'm using, Okay, I want to take the chance to say hello to my friend from India. Uh, Ricardo Di Lo from Italia, uh, part of this project. Uh, Daniel John from Rio Ne, also part of this project. Eh, quiero aprovechar para darle las gracias a mis amigos de la India. Of course, a Eduardo uh, from uh, Mexico, a Marcel Herrera. Eh, también a mi amigo de Italia, Ricardo Di Lo. 
y a mi amigo, no, 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 a mi amigo uh, Daniel John. Put your feet back. So now for the back endos, and you moving a little bit back so they can see. What we're gonna do is try to be sure in moving the flip. I like to do rolling and rolling. So we do this and this and this and this and this and this. It's a little tight. We're gonna do one more time. We're gonna do one more time. Set all the things on floor because it's tight for the conditioning, yes. So we're going again, go again. Here, hips right here. So we're going to do a little swing with the gymnast. Turn over, and turn over, and turn over, and turn over. And now you can go. So we do now the swing. Really quick because the time is running. Uh, gymnastics is like that. And that's why I recommend all the coaches when we do gymnastics, uh, doing a uh, station, we do an station where we can, where we can uh, do the class fast. When we do this, I'm uh, using one bar for this, for the strap, another bar with no strap, and head ten positions on the wall, stuff like that, so we can have many stations. Okay, so now, thank you, Mr. Victor. Victor is the camera boy, the camera guy who producing the show here in Miami. Uh, one more time, thank you to Daniel, uh, Daniel Jones from Rio. Go forward now. Rio Ney, uh, Rio Fire, sorry. Ricardo Dilo, de nuevo gracias a Daniel John, de la Región 6, a Ricardo Diló, my friend from India, from Mexico, people from Guatemala, they're watching the show. Rio Ney, guys, come on, we're Rio Ney. So, so now we're gonna do the same thing with the front end of all the shoulders. Vamos a hacer lo mismo con la, el endo de frente. We do the same thing, making two of the gymnasts flip over and getting more confident. So now we're going to do uh, the actually endo skill. Remember to subscribe it and let me know your opinion. Remember, let me know your opinion. What do you think about this skill? You have a new idea? It's going to be good. So again, over. Now we can put the, in the swaddle position and we do the same thing. Okay. That's no more, that's life. Go <laughs> again. <laughs> Keep it going inside. Keep it going inside, inside, inside. You can see, and the John Genius can learn me. And those and back and those, and and those. Eh, ya está joven, pueden aprender el endo de frente, el endo de espalda, everything on the same time, todo en el mismo momento. So now we're going to move into conditioning, couple exercise that I like to teach you for the future, for your gymnast, to making the body good, because I believe in gymnastics, one of the most important things is the conditioning and the flexibility. So, we are going right here. Most of the complaint of the gymnast is the shoulders, you know? So, I try to, from the very young age, making shoulders flexible and strong. So we're gonna do this skill first, uh, and then I'm gonna work you with Sergio, a couple of skills for uh, flexibility and also for strength for the young athlete and even for the elite athlete to making the body ready for gymnastics. Go. You 
you're using the weight, it's going to be more down. The repetition is depending on you. This is making your shoulders strong. This, this skill is very valuable because we're using a lot free heads, hips, and bars, and rings, boots, and feet bars, the pitchers. So, say, you come on. Because if we're talking about endos, we're going to work in a couple of skills on floor to help with the endos. So, this is one of the top of skills to help with the endos. We're going to kind of stick and throttle. We're we'll fighting the rope. Again, fighting the rope. Now we're going to do the same thing with the frog. Do with the frog. Estos son ejercicios que nos van a ayudar a los endos, la barra. Y también a la preparación física de gimnasia. And also to um, the gymnast and friends. Okay. As the time is almost over, so I'm gonna go with another more skills here on floor. For the back. This is to make sure this area is strong, something that we need a lot in gymnastics. Go. Say so you'll be ready to do the Side body, side body. It's supposed to be more straight, really quick because we're running in time. Try to give me the coach the most I can. So we created a system and floor. We do the swaddle, front, swaddle, the front. What what this do? Can you go uh, sideways, please? Thank you. Um, this is to create a ability for gymnastics. Boys and girls can do this. They create a strength and ability for gymnastics. Let's see. I want to teach it to you also for this area and for the arm, Emerson, and B-bars. Say you, wait for me there on the plank. I'm going to walk for the plank. You go there. Okay. This is skill. This is skill is working this area and working the arm and working the shoulder. Look at this. One of my favorites, top and straight. Top and straight arm, straight on, straight on, straight on, straight on, right here. And top bending, deep, and straight on, and deep, go. This is working on the strength. I'm, I'm too fast. Estoy trabajando rápido por el tiempo. No me gusta what we do. Uh, I promise to you, if you uh, let me know, subscribe it to me and let me know if you want to do one class just conditioning. What conditioning we do to make gymnasts strong. Let's go here really quick. This is going to be the last skill we're going to do. Le estaba diciendo que estamos corriendo con el tiempo. No quiero hacer una clase muy larga para que no sea aburrida. Eh, Estoy enseñando algunos ejercicios. Escríbanme, déjenme saber si ustedes quieren que yo haga una clase solamente de preparación física. Yo la hago. We're gonna work it now in planche, headstand position and a planche. And young gymnasts, oh, y Lee guys. Vamos a trabajar ahora en la parada de mano correcta, en la plancha, en gimnasta joven. You can do this with boys and girls. Everything I do is possible for boys and girls. So, 
Hay que trabajar elasticidad todos los días. Déjenme saber si quieren que haga un programa con elasticidad. Yo lo hago. I love you, all of you. Big Jesso for all of you. Um, I wish we had more time. So let me know. Give me your, your opinion. Y recuerden, follow Gimnasia Latina. Y follow Jesso uh, Gymnastics Training and the channel YouTube Gymnastics Channel. I love you, love you. Recuerden a seguir a Gimnasia Latina, uno de los primeros patrocinadores de este entrenamiento. One of the first um, sponsors for this training, Gimnasia Latina. A big yes for all of you, and I love you. Yes, so. Wait. You saving. Sí, 